in the mythical world of ancient China, a land of legendary monsters, evil witches, and sinister villains. The wise monk Tripitaka and his protector Monkey set out on a treacherous journey in search of the fabled Scrolls of Wisdom. Joined by Pigsy and Sandy, these four companions travel together through this strange and magical world, enduring perilous adventures and dangerous adversaries on their mission for the Emperor and all of China. The Legends of the Monkey King is China's greatest story. It is an expedition unlike any other ever taken. It is the journey to the West. Unaware that the evil bear monster had taken his companion Tripitaka prisoner, Monkey was flying back to Black Wind Mountain to retrieve Tripitaka's stolen robe. As he flew, he noticed one of the bear monster's servants walking down the mountain. The servant was on his way to deliver a very special invitation. <laughs> Come to Blackwind Mountain to celebrate the theft of a magic robe. <laughs> Start the flames! <sighs> Enough! We have a guest! Already? It's the snake monster! <laughs> Forgive me for coming so early. As if I didn't have my hands full. How are you, Snake? Aflame with curiosity. You want to see my robe, I imagine, but you'll have to wait until tonight. I'm disheartened. I simply will not allow you to deprive me of the pleasure of seeing that robe now. I won't change my mind. It's no use begging. What about a bribe? Forget it. What a shame. I had such a stunning gift in mind. Show it to me first, and we'll see whether or not it's bribe-worthy. <laughs> Well, there you have it. And I hope it meets with your fancy. It's just a box! A chest, my dear bear, of the finest sandalwood. The perfect place to store your robe. Really? Keeps out moths and mildew. Your robe deserves nothing less. <laughs> your gift is indeed a worthy one, Snake Monster. Leopard, go and fetch the robe. Our honored guest has earned the right to behold it. Treachery! What do you mean? The Snake Monster's an imposter! Do you accuse my guest? Yes. Explain yourself. The real snake monster has just sent a messenger demanding to know why her invitation never arrived. Hmm? Who are you really, oh sinuous charlatan? <laughs> oh, you'll pay dearly for this deception, monkey! Let the fight begin! Pretty cocky, aren't you? I'll teach you! <laughs> <laughs> Give me back the robe, bear! Your cause is lost, pitiful fool! <laughs> You won't get the better of me so easily! <laughs> you pursue me at your own peril! Ha! Huh. Weren't you gonna teach me something? Come out and fight if you dare! <laughs> this is how deceivers are welcomed at Black Wind Mountain. Fortunately, your fate will not be a lonely one. I believe you two are already acquainted. Tripitaka! Monkey, is that you? Do what you like with me, but let him go! What a noble gesture. Unfortunately, it's wasted on me. Yeah, it's wasted on us. 
<laughs> you should never have come back here, monkey. I'm looking forward to seeing this robe. I'm looking forward to seeing what Bear Monster has in store for our pilgrims. Can you manage to loosen yourself? <laughs> Try a body that's long and thin. <laughs> It's not working. The claw doesn't budge. It changes when I do. And if you become something smaller? It'll shrink with me. We have to find another way. What about the magic hairs the goddess Quan Yin put on your head, monkey? Master, great idea. My hands are bound. How will we get them? I'm not sure, but maybe you could swing as close as you can and grab them with your teeth. I'll try. <laughs> You didn't have to take so many. Now, just spit them out, Master. Change! No time for sport now, boys. Get me out of here. I'm going to find a weapon to defeat the bear monster. Ask for the goddess's help. Don't worry, I will. With Quan Yin on our side, we're sure to be invincible. Hey, what's the big mm. idea blowing in my ear? That was the wind whistling through your head. Monkey flew straight to the South Seas and the peaceful tropical island, which was the abode of the goddess Quan Yin. Great and noble goddess, I've come to you for help. I know. You seek the stolen robe. What is your request? I need a very powerful weapon to defeat the bear monster. He's captured Trippy Taka. Ah, I see. I have just the thing to render him harmless. This calabash filled with glue. With this, you will subdue the monster. Take it with my blessing. Goddess, thank you. Huh? This was never here before? Oh, who goes there? It's alive! Did I frighten you, brother? You did take me by surprise. Who are you and what are you doing in these parts? Hmm, I'm the Jolly Elf. I'm here for the bear's great celebration. Hmm. If he'd invited any elves, he'd have mentioned it to me. Aha! If the bear and I weren't friends, would I have brought this fine gift of honey? Honey, you say? I could get you in, providing there's something in it for me. How about this? A necklace of the finest scarlet jade. Well, I see you're a fellow of most discriminating tastes. I'm glad we understand one another, my friend. You're lucky to have met up with me, Elf. This celebration will be unforgettable. Halt! Who goes there? Don't you recognize your old friend, the Jolly Elf? No, I don't. He's brought excellent gifts. Oh, Great Bear, I combed the realm to find an offering worthy of you. Why didn't you tell me sooner, Wolf? Don't worry about it. What's a little misunderstanding among friends? <laughs> I bet you can't wait to see the precious robe I've stolen, can you? Help us, O oh Goddess, in your great mercy. Are you very envious, Elf? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you worried the robe's owner may try to get it back from you? It's hard to enjoy stolen booty if you can't be assured of holding on to it. They've already tried, but they were no match for me, and now they're my permanent guests. <laughs> ah. mm. <laughs> they look like dangerous desperados, especially this one. But you caught these fierce tigers by the tail, hmm? Ah. So, I trust you're not afraid to show us this marvelous robe, are you? Yeah, show it to us, unless you're afraid your prisoners will break free and steal it back from you. <laughs> are you? The bear monster fears nothing and no one! Leopard! Ox! Let the robe be seen! Master! <laughs> Feast your eyes! The robe to end all robes! Hmm? That sorry-looking rag? <laughs> I wouldn't heap scorn so soon. Robe, show us your great powers. Mm, don't just lie there. 
Would you make a fool of me before my honored guest, so mighty magical robe? I can make it work. Stir the potion, robe. Huh? <gasps> Incredible! Oh, its powers are beyond measure! Mm, why wouldn't it obey me? I'll force <laughs> it to do my bidding! I don't think that'll work. Mm, why would the robe ignore me and obey an upstart like him? <laughs> now watch this! Robe, come here. Take this gift. <laughs> and offer it to our most noble and gracious host. That's a good robe. Bring it here. Oh, honey! Sniff the bouquet. Oh, like a gift from the gods. <laughs> How right you are. Huh? I'll help you. I'm stuck too. Help! What kind of honey is this? Oh. What have you done to us, Elf? Not Elf. It is I, Monkey. Monkey, hurry and set me free. Whoa. Quickly. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you, Bear. They'll be mad as hornets once they get free of that glue. Do not worry, Monkey. The glue the goddess gave you should hold them for three or four days. By then, we shall be far away from here. I was worried there for a while, but once again, we're on our way. We are indeed. We have been sorely tried, but our escape has only made our journey more joyful. The road ahead is beautiful and challenging. So, Master, shall we? And so they continued on their journey to the west. Tripitaka and Monkey were continuing their quest from China to India to find the Books of Wisdom when they came upon a quiet place to make camp. They were about to discover that the place they had chosen was not so quiet after all. Open up! Do you hear me? Let me in or I'll bang all night! Open up, I say! Don't pretend you can't hear me, because I know you can! <gasps> Let me in, I tell you! What is it, Monkey? I don't know, but someone needs help. Perhaps in that house we passed earlier. The big one, near the road. I'll have to leave you, Master, and make sure no one's in trouble. Oh, who have we here? Hi. Oh. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. Uh, who are you? Oh, well, my name's Monkey. You're a stranger in these parts. Yes, I'm on a sacred quest. Perhaps he can help us. Help you? Uh, hey, does this have anything to do with the terrifying noises I heard uh -huh, last night? Uh -huh. It was the monster. Dealing with monsters is my specialty. And so, Monkey and Chipitaka went to meet the kind Lord Gao to see if they might help him. Father, our prayers have been answered by a stranger. Oh, a stranger? Uh-huh. Two pilgrims who swear they can help us. I am Lord Gao, master of this estate, but a servant to my guests. Thank you. Your hospitality is most kind. Mm. Please come in and rest. You seem troubled. Why don't you tell us about it? My peaceful life came to an end one night two years ago. Bandits tried to steal my gold and my daughter to land. Come on! Be quiet!
<laughs> Wait, sir. I am greatly indebted to you for the life of my daughter. It was my pleasure. You will tell us your name, at least. Certainly. I am known as Baji. Please, do me the honor of becoming my guest. The honor is <laughs> mine. Your hospitality is known far and wide. It wasn't long before Baji and Chulan were married. We celebrated their wedding with a most lavish feast. Greetings. Greetings. <laughs> Your health, your pride! <laughs> no one enjoyed the feast more than Baji, who ate like a pig as usual. Then suddenly. son-in-law had become a monstrous pig. He banged on Chulan's door, but she wouldn't open it. And then he locked the gate, leading from my house to hers. This is the gate. He's returned every night since, and he's so strong all my sons together can't drive him away. Well, Lord Gow, no need to worry. I have experience with monsters. That night, when the pig man came for his bride, he was in for a big surprise. <laughs> It's your husband, Julan. Will you let me in tonight? Come in. Huh? Oh. <laughs> it's about time, Julan. Keep away. Huh? Don't touch me. My father is planning to get rid of you, Baji. Oh. He says you have brought shame and chaos to his once peaceful household, and he can allow it no more. Uh, oh, I'd like to see him try. Uh, you see, no mortal has the power to get rid of me. I'm invincible. But my father has appealed to the great and powerful monkey to help him get rid of you. Uh, uh, monkey, well, I'll be on my way. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> 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 This is quite the display of invincibility. <laughs> Back here. <laughs> You'll never find me here. Knowing he was no match for Monkey, the pigman, Baji, fled Lord Gao's house. But Monkey followed him back to his secret mountain hideaway. Oh, leave me alone! to Lord Gal. Sure, I can do that. And promise you will never bother Chu Lan again. You can count on me. <laughs> and so, Baji, having no choice but to honor his agreement with Monkey, set out the next morning to see Lord Gal. Do you have the contract with you? Uh, mm -hmm. Be firm with him, Lord Gao. Shake him by the scruff of the neck if you have to. Uh -huh. I demand that you hand it over. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. That's it. Mm. Ah. Is it in order? Hmm? Well, of course it is. It is. Uh, yeah, I'll just be off then, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, O oh great lord. 
Huh? What do you want? I forgot to give you my bill for cancelling that marriage contract. A thousand pieces of gold? That's right. I made this agreement in good faith, so if you want out of it, you're gonna have to pay up. Under no circumstances will I pay you a cent for a contract you have clearly violated. What do you mean, violated? Just because I put on a bit of weight, now I'm not good enough for your precious daughter? Mm. Hold your tongue. Listen, old man, <laughs> I want that money and I want it now, here? Huh? <laughs> Dumplings! I know you'd break your word! <laughs> Let me go! I know what I'd do with you, but I'll let Lord Gao decide your punishment. Uh, please don't, I'm sorry! Lord Gao, I have subdued your brutish son-in-law. He's all yours. What a wonder this monkey of yours has turned out to be. No, no, yeah, real wonder. Lock him up in the cellar till he learns to behave. That's it, take him away. Now, we must continue our journey, monkey. Please have mercy on me, master. Don't leave me here. Why does he call me master? He's only trying to oh, avoid being punished. It's not huh? my fault. It was the goddesses doing, Master. I was only following the wishes of Quan Yin. We must hear him out. Uh -huh. Set him down. So, what's this story of yours? Will you untie me? Sure. You see, I was ordered by the goddess Quan Yin to live in this region until the monk Tripitaka came this way. He was to be my master and I would accompany him on his journey. How do we know this isn't just another one of your tales? Uh, here. It's a letter from the goddess herself. I wouldn't deceive you, master. Uh -huh. Tripitaka, he who bears this letter was once an officer of heaven, but he could not control his appetites. Take him on as your disciple and teach him wisdom and restraint. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I bow to you, master. Ah, because the goddess wills it, I shall be pleased to take you on as a disciple. And from now on, you will be known as Pigsy the Pilgrim. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Pigsy the pig is more like it. <laughs> Monkey, it's the heart that makes the pilgrim. Ah. Please, you must eat before you set out. Your kindness is great, but it is better to journey with the eager and hungry heart of a beggar. <laughs> Put it back, Pigsy. A monk and a servant of Quan Yin exercises self-control. Before we go, a blessing. In spite of everything, I shall miss my old son-in-law. <laughs> and that is how the good-hearted Pigsy came to join Monkey and Chipitaka on their journey to the West.